a 1,100 kg car is traveling at a speed of 38 meters per second. It skids to halt on wet concrete where mu k, that's the coefficient of kinetic friction, is equal to 0.20. The question is, how long are the skid marks? Express your answer in meters. So we know that the car has an initial velocity of 38 meters per second in the moment when the driver steps on the brakes and the car begins to stop. We know that the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k is equal to 0.20 and the vertical orange bar represents the place and moment when the car starts stopping. We know that the gravity exerts a force on the car, that's mg, and because the car is on a flat surface of concrete, there is a support force going up, that's the normal force, as it can see in the image and also in the free body diagram at the right top corner. We see that the velocity is not included in the free body diagram, that's because the velocity is not a force. We only include forces in the free body diagram and the arrow of the velocity is there just for the purpose of illustration. We know from this picture that the summation of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero because the forces are balanced. Normal force going up minus mg going down is equal to zero. We can conclude that Fn is equal to mg. From the givens, we know that the mass is 1100 kilograms and gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second square. We multiply and find that the normal force is 10,780 newtons. I just calculated the normal force because this is going to be important for further calculation. Analyzing the forces in the X component and assuming that there is no air resistance, we can see that the only unbalanced force is the force of kinetic friction. When the driver steps on the brakes, the wheels get locked and there is kinetic friction in the opposite direction of the movement. So in this case, if the car has an initial velocity to the right, the force of kinetic friction is applied to the left and that unbalanced force is generating an acceleration that's opposite to the direction of the movement and in the same direction of the unbalanced force. From this, we know that the summation of the forces in the x direction is equal to the mass times the acceleration because we have an unbalanced force. The only force that we have in the x direction is the force of kinetic friction. Then we can conclude that Fk, force of kinetic friction, is equal to mass times acceleration. We can calculate the force of kinetic friction as mu k times the normal force. That's why I previously calculated the normal force. Then Fk is 0.2, that's in the givens, times 10,780 newtons that we got from the calculation for normal force. And we have that the force of kinetic friction is negative 2,156 newtons. It is negative because from the diagram we know that the direction of the kinetic friction is to the left. And we have that the left is negative by convention. So let's plug in in the other equation. We have that negative 2,156 newtons is equal to 1,100 kilograms times acceleration and we get that the acceleration is negative 1.96 meters per second square. So this acceleration is also negative because it goes in the same direction of the unbalanced force. We see that the negative acceleration is opposite to the initial positive velocity. So this acceleration is going to reduce the initial velocity of 38 meters per second to zero meters per second because we want the car to stop. Let me move the result for acceleration upwards and let's apply kinematic equation. And we have that final velocity square is equal to initial velocity square plus two times the acceleration multiplied by delta x. Delta x represents the length of the skid in meters. We know that final velocity is zero because we want the car to stop completely. The initial velocity was in the given. It is 38 meters per second. So we have 38 squared minus 2 times 1.96. That's the acceleration that we just got times delta x. We work out the numbers following the algebra when we divide. 
we get that delta x is 368.4 meters. That means that the car slides for 368.4 meters from the moment that the driver slams on the brakes to the moment when the car completely stops. We can see that the car has an initial velocity of 38 meters per second. In this precise moment, the driver slams the brakes. Then, in this moment, the car stops. And we can see that the skid mark is about 368 meters. The answer was given as 370 meters because of the number of significant figures that the problem is asking. Okay guys, I hope that this problem was useful, that it gave you some insight about the kinetic friction, how an unbalanced force changes the velocity of a car or object. So just keep studying guys. Remember to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriends, and just keep it going guys. I'll see you in the next video.